My name is Leanne and I'm teaching the Chrono Museum's virtual craft classes. I look forward to discovering all that nature in spring has to offer with you. See you soon! started with our first craft today. Today we'll be doing the caterpillar. So I hope you all enjoyed the story by Eric Carl. And we'll be making a caterpillar similar to the one in his story. So you'll, I'll just go through the list of materials. You have your dozen egg carton. You have your scissors. Mine are uh, grown up scissors, but I assume you have your uh, smaller pair of scissors. We have the three colors of paint. You have your green, white, and red. A paintbrush. A container that's large enough so that your paints aren't going to mix. You'll want to have three separate blobs, or you could use um, a different, three different containers if you prefer. You have your water in an, just any bowl. It's always a good idea to have paper towel handy. You have your blue pipe cleaner a black marker, and the two googly eyes. So to start, we're going to open up the egg carton. And as you know, there are 12 eggs, so 12 spots. We just want six. So we're gonna cut that 12 in half. So that's half of 12, as you know, is six. And we're just gonna cut through. This is a little easier with smaller scissors. Actually, I might cut this part off first. So I hope you all enjoyed Eric Carl's story. It is a story I enjoy very much. And although I've been looking for caterpillars outside, I still haven't found any. I don't know if anybody has seen any yet. So there, I'll just cut this through in the center. and. Remember that if you need help cutting, because sometimes some parts are a little bit more difficult, you can always ask your older brother or sister or a parent or someone to help you. This part's a little bit harder to do. And the colors that we picked are the colors that are similar to the story, Eric Carl's story, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Now, see how one side has the little grooves and the other side doesn't? So it's up to you. You can, some people leave it like that. I prefer to make mine even. So I'm gonna go ahead and first I'm gonna make this side a little bit cleaner. This would be better with smaller scissors. So I'm gonna go ahead I want this side to be the exact same as this side. So this looks more like something that's crawling as opposed to this. So I'm going to make little grooves. And, and the other thing you might have noticed in the book is Eric Carl explains what happens to a caterpillar. A caterpillar doesn't stay a caterpillar, it becomes something else. Do you know what a caterpillar becomes? I will let you guess. Okay. Okay, so now I'm almost done. We have the two sides are matching, so we have the grooves on this side and we have the grooves on this side. But one thing I don't like is this little extra. I want both sides to be even, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim that away. And then we'll be ready to start applying the white paint. Now it's up to you if you wanna use different brushes. Some people like to use, since we're using three different colors of paint, you may want to use three different paint brushes. 
but the other option if you only have one then you just use the one and then you wash it in between to make sure the paints don't get mixed together so I'm just going to trim this now I don't want my caterpillar to be lopsided and I'm going to trim this Now, I thought I would tell you that my favorite kind of butterfly, probably the most popular one, is the monarch butterfly. And maybe you can think about what kind of butterfly you like. And then notice the colors of the butterfly, because different butterflies have different colors. Almost done. It's a little tricky. Now, so I'm using this old table here. It's already stained, so I don't need to cover it with anything. But if you're using a nice dining room table or a nice pretty table, you don't want to get it ruined it's always a good idea to put either newspaper or an old um, tablecloth or something just so we don't stain the table okay so now I'm ready for my first coat of paint I'm just gonna start by putting so as I mentioned I'm just using one container for the three paints and it's big enough so that they don't get all mixed together so I'm just gonna put a little blob to start I'm actually starting with the white okay I am back with my white paint I'm just gonna give it a little shake that might help get it out and put it in the corner there that's white okay and so I'm just gonna apply the white everywhere so I'm putting my paintbrush in the paint and just this doesn't need to be perfect because this is what's going underneath it's more like a primer just to make everything nice and even so that when we apply the color it will be much much nicer and just getting into the grooves I like this paintbrush because it has a little angle so it allows me to get into the grooves You may see a little kitty up here in the corner. I hear a cat. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna go outside and give the robin some water. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, boys and girls, so we'll continue with our caterpillar. Um, so I went ahead and painted it um, just so it's a little bit faster. And what I did is I painted the body green and the head is red. It looks a little bit more pink. You could always add a second coat if you wanted to, it to look more red. And the other thing I wanted to mention is to make sure you get into all those little grooves because it's easy to forget those. So you can always just take your a smaller brush and just sort of brush in there. And then these edges, you'll want to get into those edges too because otherwise you'll see the, um, the brown of the carton underneath. So now, what are we missing? We are missing two eyes. A mouth and you can always draw a nose and then with this pipe cleaner we're gonna make the little antennas so I have my 
Good glue eyes here. I have a plastic knife I'm going to use um, just to spread the glue so I don't get it on my finger. So just put it directly on the face. So there's one eye. Now, as I said, this might not work because it's not a flat surface, but we're going to try and see. Okay, so I put the glue where I want, just because it's not pouring out very quickly, so I can put it directly on the face. And I'm gonna spread it around a little bit with my knife. And then, Maybe if I, they were a bit smaller, they would glue better. I'm actually going to add a bit more glue on the eye itself, just because there's so many grooves in this egg carton. Okay, now I'm gonna press it gently for a few seconds. And I'll put the glue on the other one. Clean up if I have some excess glue, I can just clean that up a little bit. Okay, so now while the eyes dry, I'm going to take my blue pipe cleaner, and those are for the antennas. Now I don't want mine to be well, what do you think? No, that'll be too long. So I'm gonna cut off a little edge. I found better scissors, by the way. So I'm gonna cut that off. Now we want them to be even, so I'm gonna put this in half and cut where the half point is. And now some people say to poke a hole with a pencil or something uh, sharp. I will use a pencil. I just don't want you using any sharp scissors don't want you hurting yourself. So I'm just gonna poke a hole with my pen or pencil. I want two holes, one on either side. Ooh, just wanna make sure I don't lose my eyes, my googly eyes. Let's see. Now this might be something you'll want your mom or dad to help you with. something a little bit sharper. There we go. And so I have my two. Now I can make them curly at the top just for fun. And then I'm just gonna make sure that it fits in. Yeah, that fits. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little tiny bit of glue just on the hole. A little bit. There we go, just a blob. Blob on each hole. And then I can stick one in. Not too far, because you want it sticking out. Then we'll do the other one. So I want to make it all twirly at the top there. Okay. And then I'm gonna flip it over. Hopefully I don't lose my eyes. And I'm just gonna fold it a little bit just so that it stays, it doesn't come out. Press on the top of the head and then that glue, that glue should keep it in place there. So just folding it under a little bit and then Now I also want a mouth and a nose. So I'm just using a black marker. I'm gonna put a little nose and a mouth. I'm putting a smiley face. Now you wanna make sure that your paint 
on the face is dry before you do, or on the head is dry before you do any of these steps. And there you go. There's your hungry caterpillar. I'm gonna go hang mine in the window. See you later, bye.